All right, folks, we're back. So I got uh, new tie rod ends and tie rod spacers. And uh, I got the Moog, and I'll show you the numbers in a second. And I also got Global West spacer arms uh, sections. And I'll tell you why I think these are going to be great as opposed to the stock. But what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take these apart a little bit because, uh, as you may know, or if you don't know, now you're going to know, one end of these is right hand threads and the other end is left hand threads. And so when you get the parts, it's important for each one, these are the numbers I'm getting. This is for a 73, a 71C3, right and left. So if you want to order those, you can. I think I got these from, where did I get these? I forgot. Anyway, these are the Moog, not stock looking so much, but not that different, um, similar. Similar, but different. Um, they're kind of beefy. I think these are the slightly upgraded ones. They're not the super heavy duty, but they're perfectly adequate. They do use a lock nut instead of this clamp. And the reason you're able to just use a lock nut, I think it's a better system, a little bit easier, is that this is way thicker than the stock. Um, you can see here about how thick that is. It's not super thick. These are that's beefy so this is like not gonna bend i mean this is very sturdy um it is it does mess with your head a little bit see look at that see unscrewing <laughs> so right this is the left side threads obviously there you go just mess with it it messes with your head i don't know you don't have that many occasions to use left-hand threads in your life, I don't think. So one side is right, one side is left threads, and it's the same on the other side. W the reason I want to take these apart is um, I think it's set up like this, where the outside or the right side is right and the left side is left, and then the I think then the inside is right and the outside is left. So it's right, left, right, left, I think. I'm going to confirm that. Other thing is uh, before I put the threads in before I put the the ends in I coated them with this I kind of like this stuff it's kind of like anti-seize but a little bit more on the greasy side um it's this assembly lubricant and it it will get all over everything it's like anti and I and I seize <laughs> and I freeze and it's like anti-seize but I I like to use it on stuff that is going to be adjustable you know you don't want it to get bound up or rusty so I put a little bit um, on the threads there. Uh, and then let me show you what's happening under here. Another thing I'm going to have to crawl is I just painted this. Uh, there it is. Looks pretty good, right? Um, and I want to tell you what I did because I'm kind of proud of myself. So I painted all that with uh, chassis and roll bar spray paint. This stuff, you know, the VHC, the stuff I like to use. However, I did it with a brush, which is down there, it's disposable, and I sprayed it into a cup. I still have spray paint, that's spray paint right there. So I'm sure I'm not the only person to ever do this, but if you guys, in case you didn't know, if you spray it and I, you hold the brush, just hold the brush out and you kind of spray it into the brush and then your spray paint dips down there and then you can brush the spray paint on and not get it all over your nice new a-arms and and coilovers and everything else so if you have a a little thing you got to paint and you don't want to get spray paint everywhere but you still want to use spray paint you can do that so you're welcome all right next thing i'm going to do off camera is i'm going to take this out and just double check the threads this is the left side out and then right side so the orientation is is correct i'm just going to double check that before i Put these back on the car okay i'm back from taking the old one apart and just doing some investigating and what i found and i went online looked up some information because let me tangent for a second uh in the assembly manual it doesn't say anything about left or right it just says the assembly relay and tie rod assembly so there's nothing in here there's two pages where this stuff appears but it doesn't talk about left or right. So what I discovered 
both uh, through my own research and online, is that it, this is the driver's side, right? The left side, you start with the left-hand threads on the outside, and then you go to the right-hand threads in the middle, and then right-hand threads in the middle, and then left-hand threads on the outside. Now, that being said, it, I don't think it matters a hell of a lot which one you put, left or right, because it's gonna function the same way. So on the old style, and that's probably why this has been wrenched on, I, although it's bent, so somebody was going crazy with this, is you would loosen these clamps, all right? And then you would, I guess, put uh, vice grips or something on here, pipe, a pipe wrench, and you would turn it, you know, turn the, uh, the spacer, and turning it one way would lengthen it, lengthen the whole thing, and turning it the other way would shorten it. So with these, the new ones, the Global West ones, you just you just loosen the the two uh, nuts on the ends, and now you can get a wrench on here. You're not having to use a pipe wrench or something. You just get a a wrench on there. I don't know what size that is, but you put a a, so uh, a wrench, crescent wrench or something, and then you can just easily turn it, you know, and adjust it. And then it's real quick to uh, lock the nuts back and you're good to go. So you gotta remember if one of them is left and one of them is right. So that's kind of interesting. So uh, I'm gonna do it the way I've seen in the uh, information that I've read and also the parts that I took apart. So it'll be left, right, right, left, moving from the left of the car. And uh, we're gonna put these in and um, go from there. All right, we're back and it's the next day and I've got the tie rod ends and spacers all set up ready to go back. Uh, and the only remaining question for me was which of these mounting holes am I gonna use? Now, this is a manual steering car and they were connected on these, which are the farther away from the hub or the fulcrum. And that is a higher ratio. In other words, you need to turn the wheel more, right? If you're connecting here, you need to turn the wheel more to turn, turn the steering wheel more to turn the tires, right? If you hook up here, you're closer to the fulcrum, so you don't have to turn the steering wheel as much, and you're still gonna get more, you're gonna get more rotation of steering. However, it will be harder, right? Because you don't have as much leverage, right? You got way, a lot of leverage out here. Closer you get, the harder it is. Now, I just read up uh, a couple, I read a couple posts on the Corvette forum and somebody said that they have a manual steering car and they just went ahead and moved the ball joints or the, you know, the tie rod ends to the forward position and they said it was fine. I think somebody said it was like 16 to 1 here, 20 to 1 here, uh, or maybe that's backwards. In any event, I decided I'm going to move it forward. I'm still pretty strong. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be an issue. You know, it's, it's difficult to turn the wheel when you're at a standstill. That's the thing about manual steering. But if you're moving, it's not bad. I'd rather have the, the steering a little snappier, get a little more performance out of the steering so I don't feel like I'm driving a truck. And uh, so I do have this special tie rod and cleaning device that I got. You can get these from Zip Corvette, and they're just for this purpose. Um and I'm totally lying right now. No, I just had, happen to have this. So I'm gonna clean these out. Uh, something like, oh, look at that. Oh my God. That's <laughs> some crusty ass. All right. Ooh, there we go. Done. Anyway, no, I'm just gonna brush those out because I'm anal about this stuff and uh, pop these in. So again, in case you missed it earlier, left hand, left hand threads on the outside, right-hand threads on the inside. We're gonna hook it up and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I have these in place and I was, you know, looking at torque and I did find a page, it's UPC9. And this is referenced in another page. I missed this page earlier. So it does have torque specs and you can see on mine, on my car, which is a manual, you see how it has it in the farther back position here. Uh, but I am not, this is the driver's side, of course. I'm not gonna do that. I'm putting it in the forward position. And I'm gonna see how that works out. So torque specs is three, right? 
and we come over here to three and it's just 30 to 40 foot pounds um, and I assume it is the same for the insides the inside although this one no this one says four for there right and four is 40 to 60 yeah so these okay stop the presses I'm back did you guys just catch that I was watching the video I'm editing the video now it's later <laughs> and I noticed when I said 40 to 60 foot pounds it's not and that's not what it was I was referring to it's not what they were referring to this is the is like the grease nipple right that's the filler nipple that's like like where is it that that gets 40 to 60 inch pounds i don't see anywhere where they talk about the castle nut on the inside i don't i don't see that here so i'm just going to assume that it's the same so what i need to do is loosen these a little because see how it's kind of smashed i mean i don't think it's a big deal but these i did like you know 30 to 40 like it says here and then i thought i was doing 40 to 60 uh, foot pounds on the inside I, it was I was a mistake so I'm gonna fix that I'm just I'm just fessing up to my mistake from earlier please continue so uh that is p that's in the a2 section on the assembly manual and it's got all these specs and it shows you if you have the traditional style uh tie rod and spacers then it shows you how to how to adjust all that here I'm not going to get into that because that's not what I'm doing um but that's the info we need all right so i'm going to tighten these up i'm going to show that uh i'm not going to show that on camera but i want to show you guys what it looks like um what they look like and these are the again the global west so i did move these out a little bit i did a rough alignment you know just just to get these basically straight and i did need to open these up a little that's how much down the thread i am on the uh, driver's side, passenger side, not as much, coincidentally. But I just kind of, I just kind of lined up the, you know, the wheels going straight back, eyeballed it, put the steering in the middle, kind of <laughs> as much as I could. I mean, this is all going to get done, you know, later uh, by professionals. But that's what I've got right now. So I'm going to tighten that up, and then we're on to something else. All right. Thanks for watching.